Hey guys, what's up everyone and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to replace list items in Python. As always, we do have a written article that goes along with this video, so you can go to seosec.com or just open the link in the video description to find this Python list replace article. Here is also the link to the REPL that I'm working in, so you can pull that up and just work through the code by yourself. This is the best way to practice Python in our opinion, and we highly recommend always pulling up this article or these articles while you are following along in a Python tutorial on our channel. Now you can also go ahead and just copy and paste all of the code that we are working with here so this comes in handy. So in this video I'm going to show you a couple of different ways on how to replace items in a list using Python. This is a beginner friendly tutorial and we will start with an easy Python list replace method that we really like. Before we can replace anything, we first need to create a list here. So we create a list and we call that list favorite colors and we put a bunch of colors in here. So let's go with red, gray, blue. And you can of course use whatever colors you want. We do yellow, magenta, and let's add brown to the end. Now our goal with this video is to replace every single color of this list. Probably the easiest way to replace an element in a list in Python is by reassigning the value at the specific index with so-called Python list replacements. To do this with our favorite colors list, we can simply use the index of the color or the first color we want to replace. In this case, it's red. So let's go and do just that. We do favorite colors and then we do the index of zero because we know a list starts with the index of zero. So red here would be at the index of zero. And uh, let's say we want to change that to black. And to do that, we simply uh, assign it to the color black. And if we go ahead and now we print our favorite colors, let's print that out. Let's actually also print the initial list up here. So we have a comparison. Let's print that favorite colors, if I don't mistype it. And if you print that list now, it's first updating the REPL. That just takes a couple of seconds here. And uh, then we see the original list here, which is with the color red at our index of zero. And then our changed list with now the value of black at index zero. So we successfully replaced red. This is called list indexing. Another great way to replace list items in Python is using the enumerate function. So we do enumerate function. Okay, so how to do that? We need to create a for loop. And for that we say for index and color in and then we need to use the enumerate enumerate uh, keyword and put our list in there. So we do favorite colors. And we do a colon because it's a for loop. And then we do if color equals or double equals to gray. So it searches for uh, the color of gray at the specific index. Then we want to say favorite favorite color colors actually. And then we do index and equal that to another color, let's say be beige or beige, I think it's called in English. So this way we utilize a for loop in combination with the enumerate function to locate the color gray and then replace it with the color beige. Breaking this down a little bit, the enumerate function requires three things to work. A placeholder for the index, which is indicated by index here inside of the for loop. Then it requires a item, which in our case would be the color in here. And then the enumerate function with our list inside of its parentheses. And then we use a simple if statement to check if in fact the color equals to gray. And if the color equals to gray, we want to uh, replace this color at the specific index with the color of beige. 
That is essentially the same as the method we used above with list indexing, but this way we don't need to manually count the index of the color we want to replace. We can use logic and if else statements to do that for us. This is a great way to replace list items in Python in our opinion. So if we actually go ahead and then uh, print out our colors because we want to see if that actually works. So we print favorite colors once more. And if you look at the output now, uh, it's in fact a uh, gray was replaced by beige. Okay, let's move on to the next method, which is a simple for loop. So we create another block here. And then uh, we use a for loop to iterate over our list and then replace an item there. So let's simply do for i, for i or item, whatever you want to call it, let's call it item, in range, then we need the length of our favorite colors uh, list here, then a colon, and then we need a if statement much like above. So let's say if favorite colors, but in this case, we want to find the color at a specific index. So we do if favorite colors at the index of the item <laughs> equals to blue, another colon here, then we want to replace favorite colors at this index with purple. And if we go ahead and print favorite colors, once more, let's see if that worked. Then uh, we can see that blue was in fact replaced by purple. This is a quick and easy way if you know a way around loops and you quickly need to replace a list item in Python. Uh, this is a good way to know that you can always use a very simple for loop to uh, basically replace a list item. You also need to use the range function uh, to specify the length of the actual list. All right, next up is a while loop. Yes, we can also use while loops to replace list items, although that's a bit cumbersome and we wouldn't recommend doing that. Either way, we want to show you how it works. So let's do a while loop here. Uh, let's make a little bit of space down there. Okay, so first we need to set a counter. We just called it i and we set it to zero. Then we do a while loop and we say while i is smaller than the length of our favorite colors list. And then we want to basically loop over that list and we want to do a if statement. So if favorite colors at this specific index is equal to yellow, because now we want to replace the color of yellow, then we do favorite colors at this index and we set it to green. And then we cannot forget one of the most important parts, we need to actually increase our counter. And to do that, we need to do I, hold on, we need to be inside of the loop, but one space out of this statement, then we do I plus equals one. And if we go ahead now and we print favorite colors, Let's see if that worked. Print favorite colors and yellow was successfully replaced by green. Now you can pick your favorite. I think the for loop is more efficient in that way uh, because the while loop, I don't know. I just, uh, we just don't like <laughs> to use the while loop very much in that case. The for loop looks a little bit cleaner in our opinion. All right, we have two more things to go guys. So uh, another method that I wanna show you how to replace list items in Python is by using a Lambda function in combination with the map function. We can use the anonymous lambda function in combination with the map function to iterate over our list and replace an item. Once the iteration is done, we use the list function to convert the temporary map into a actual list. So let's do lambda with map. This is fairly complicated, especially for beginners. I have to admit this is not the easiest thing to wrap your head around, but it does work. So how do we do that? First, we need to access our favorite colors list. Then we equal that basically to a new list uh, where we plug in uh, the map function here. So we do another parenthesis inside of map and then we do call the lambda function and then we say x colon space x dot replace and then we put in the color we want to have replaced. In that case, that's the next color in the list, which is magenta. 
And we want to replace magenta with cyan. So we do a comma, then we do the uh, word or the string that we want to replace or want to be replaced with. And then uh, we go out one of the parentheses here to the right and we do comma and we do an, again our a list in here, favorite colors. And yeah, that looks good. And let's say print favorite colors and see if that actually worked. Now this is, as, as I said before, this is pretty uh, difficult to wrap your head around, but in some cases you might need that in the future, just know that it exists. So then, uh, did we replace it? Yes, we did replace it. Here's cyan instead of magenta, so that worked also. All right, the uh, next and last method that I want to show you here is a list replace using list slicing. List slicing, once you wrap your head around how it works, is a great way to replace list items. Uh, first, we need to find the item we want to replace and store it inside of a variable. And then we want to replace that item with the item in the list using list slicing syntax. As I said, this could be really hard to wrap your head around. I first uh, write out the code for you and then we're gonna talk about it. So we do replace using list slicing, okay? So we first need to find out the index of the color we want to replace. And we can do that by simply creating a new variable called idx for index. And then we equal that to favorite colors dot index. So we use the index function here. And uh, we want to replace the last color, which is brown. So this finds the actual color at this index and stores the value of the index. So if you print that, if you would print out IDX now, it would show us probably number five. Yeah, there we go. So this is the index of the color brown. This way you can also easily find out on which index a specific string in your list is placed or is sitting. And then we need to go ahead, we need to say favorite colors equals favorite colors. And now we need to do square brackets and now comes the list slicing syntax. So that's a colon. So for colon I, then we want to do a plus and we want to replace. So this is the value we want to be replaced or basically this is the value we want to replace our original value with gets a bit confusing here so we want to have a new value of violet at the index of brown okay and then we do a plus and then we say favorite colors not a square brackets here then we say i plus one colon so that way we basically insert the value or we delete the value replace the value of brown with the value of violet at this specific index now we highly recommend you to check out how uh, list slicing works in detail and we have an article on that coming up uh, very soon including a video but to break it down a little bit make it easier to understand for you uh, let's quickly break that down a tiny bit so we say favorite colors equals favorite colors this is pretty self-explanatory and uh, then we basically open up those square brackets here and we say uh, in the first thing here we say dot or colon i which stands for colon index that's what it really stands for and then we do the plus thing and we say violet which is the value we want to replace brown with and then we do plus again uh, if i can get the square brackets here we say again index plus one and then colon so you can see this is a little bit clearer than here where we just use i for idx or for index and um yeah i think this is really worth to look into and i try to break that down in another video and article as uh, good as i can for you guys but i hope this was at least half easy to understand so let's print out that last uh, list favorite colors and let's check if we in fact replaced all of the values here and as you can see also the last method using a list replace or list slicing was working so now brown is violet and therefore we have changed our entire list here was the original list of colors we have used all of the different methods to replace all of these values in the end so when it comes to pure 
replacements those are the most common methods you will come across when you want to replace elements in a list in python there are also things like python list comprehensions but that kind of defeats the purpose of replacing list items so to summarize we can replace uh, items using list indexing we can replace items using the enumerate function we can also replace items using for loops while loops lambda functions with in combination with the map function and finally we can use list slicing to replace list items in python if you want to check out more python beginner tutorials make Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out cosec.com. Link is in the description below where we publish new Python tutorials almost on a daily basis now. And we are in the process of creating videos to all of these tutorials so it makes it easier for you guys to follow along. All right, thanks for watching.